Hey guys, this video is brought to you by the crew at Sawpaw Fans. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for good way to get some good pricing on this as well as all the other products they have to offer. Easton Rosmondo Motherload. Fresh. Let's go. Oh. So here we are checking out the 2020 Easton Rosmondo Motherload. Thanks to softball fans for getting this so we could check it out for you guys. Back on the open field here that I know some of you are familiar with, and for those that aren't, uh, you can kind of see the trees aren't grown in just yet, but you can kind of see a tree line running across there. Uh, it's basically like 300, 310-ish right down the line. Uh, getting bigger, it's about 340-ish in left center. And it is fairly cold on this morning. Temps are somewhere around the mid 40s, but we gotta get that content in for you guys. So we were out here bundled up, getting it in. This bed is approved for U-Triple-SA play, and as you saw, it was brand new when we got started here. This unit is a 26.5 and is mother-loaded, which is what Easton considers to be a full-on civilian load. And it did feel that this it did swing true to weight in both aspects. The end load was definitely big and present, but nothing overwhelming. This one featured a 12 and a half inch barrel, and it had the typical Easton feedback. It was tight, but did a good job of giving yeah, positive feedback without killing time. your hands on a miss hit. I mean, I just, I don't know. For I'm comparison's sake, for those that may wonder or ask, it did why. remind me a little bit of the original Resmondo in both of those aspects. There's nothing listed here uh, for a handle. I looked everywhere to find any specs on it, as whether it's an X diff like the goat that you've already seen and the Wegman that's also going to be coming up soon on the channel. But I'm guessing that based on the fact that this one didn't feel overly stiff, it's just going to be uh, an SIC handle like most of their stuff is featured. Pretty typical feedback from this one. With some specs out of the way, let's take a quick trip over to the lab. And when I said quick trip, I'm in it. Coming in at 26.2 on a scale, I got the scale weight for you guys, but I did fail you in getting compression testing when this thing was new. I failed you on this one, all three of the comic series, and the pure integrity that's also coming up. I thought for sure that I had done that. I looked everywhere for the pictures, couldn't find them anywhere. I'm sorry. But... Moving on, what we're dealing with here is uh, pretty typical, about the 225, 230 mark. For being as cool as it was, that does not surprise me at all. The colder temps are going to accelerate the break-in process. So after about 75-ish swings, this is what we're at. With this quick and shameful trip to the lab out of the way, let's go back to the field. I wish I could have filmed this on a warmer day, but the content grind knows no temperatures, so here we are. I did hit a majority of 52s with this, but did work in about 25-ish Classic M's at the end, just to get it loosened up, just to make sure what we were dealing with was the usual suspect from Easton. This short barrel felt great, and the mother load did some work on some of these softballs. 300 feet was doable, even with the 52s. 52s are a great ball for temps it's like this, with bats you don't want to beat to a pulp in some of these colder temps. They don't get nearly as hard as something like a Classic M or a 44, 400 wood in these colder temps. By being a forgiving ball, they allow me to still get a good amount of swings in on a bat so I can get a good read on it. And I can tell you that I would not hesitate to get this one the stamp of approval either. Minimal break in, even more accelerated on this day, uh, a good feel, and the drive the mother load provided me with this thing made this an easy one to put a good swing on a ball with. If you're into short barrels, and especially short barrel Easton's, head over to Softball Fans and grab one of these and give it a try. And if you happen to do that, Comment down below and let me know what you guys think of yours. Uh, While you're down there, okay. go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Maybe another video coming tonight? If not, there definitely will be tomorrow. I can promise you by the end of the day tomorrow, you will have at least one more video, maybe two. So subscribe, turn on those notifications, sit in anticipation, and I'll see you then.
All right, everybody. Here we are at the end of the video, and I'm going to show you how to get some of that pricing I was talking about. And for that, what we're going to do is head over to Softball Fans Forum. We're going to log in, put in your credentials here. If you don't have any, you can make an account, but you can't use mine. We're going to go up to the search box here and type in the name Me Loco Man, as I've got it spelled here. We're going to hit the search button, then come on down and click on Chad's name, which is Me Loco Man. Click on start a conversation, which is softball fans version of a personal message. Come on down, type in a conversation title so you can send this bad boy off. And then all you got to do is type in how much for uh, whatever product you're looking at and hit the start conversation button to send him a message and he'll get you fixed up with a good price on whatever it is you need.